Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today's video is part one of my brand new Cookie Clicker tutorial series. And before we get started, I want to remind you that I've linked all the game assets I created in the description. So starting out here, you're going to go into your cookie sprite and then drag in a when green flag clicks block. And then underneath that, you're going to snap on a forever loop. And then inside that forever loop, you're going to say if then else. And then in the if statement part of that, you're going to say if touching mouse pointer. And then inside that, bring an if then statement and then say if mouse down. And next up, we need to create a variable to keep track of how many cookies we've clicked. So we're going to create a new variable and call it cookies. Hit OK. And then we're going to say if we're touching the mouse pointer and if the mouse down, we're going to change cookies by one. And then after we change cookies by one, we're going to say wait until not mouse down. This is going to prevent you from being able to hold down the mouse and get infinite cookies. And then we're going to see how this runs. And there we go. We have a functioning clicker. Awesome. And now we're just going to create a few um, cosmetic changes to our cookie. So I think it'd be cool to have an effect where if you're hovering over the cookie, it gets bigger. And if you're not hovering over it, it gets smaller. So after we do this, we're going to create some limits for how big and small it's going to get here. We're going to say if the size is greater than 105, we're going to set the size to 105. This is going to be our upper limit for our cookie. And then for our lower limit, we're going to come down here and then we're going to say if our size is less than 100, we're going to set the size to 100. Just like that. And now we're going to plug that in there and see how it works. There we go. So now if we're hovering over the cookie, it gets bigger. And if we're not, it gets smaller. Now we're going to make one more change to the cookie is if we're clicking it, we're going to make it smaller. So set the size to 100. And then we're just going to center it up on the stage here. Go to X0, Y0. Right there. It's looking very nice. So now we're going to go on to our effects. So every time we click our cookie, it'd be really cool if a smaller cookie fell down from the top of the screen. So that's the effect we're going to create right now. So you're inside your cookie effects sprite, you're going to say one green flag clicked, set size to 50. And then you're going to say go to x negative 50, y 220. And then underneath that, you're just going to bring in a hide block. And then you're going to bring in a when I start as a clone block. This can be found in your control tab. And then we're going to go ahead and say set x to pick random negative 208 to positive 208. And then we're going to say go to back layer just so it's behind everything. And then drag in a show block. And then we're going to move back to our control tab and then bring out a repeat and tell block. We're going to say repeat until our Y position is less than 220. And then inside that little loop there, we're going to say change Y by negative 10. And then after all that, you're going to say delete this clone. And then move back to your cookie sprite. And then underneath your set size to 100 block, you're going to say create clone of cookie effects. And now we can see how this works. Awesome, so now when we click our cookie, a little cookie spawns from the top of the screen and moves down. And then our last step for this tutorial is going to our shine sprite here. And then we're gonna say, when green flag clicked, point in direction 90. And then go to X0, Y0, and then go to back layer. And then you're going to drag on a forever loop. And then inside that loop, you're going to say, turn one degree. And then before we test it out, we're going to add a show block before our forever loop. Cool, looking really polished and nice. We can look at this for a little bit. And that is about it for this tutorial, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And if you want to see part two, like this video. Bye, guys.